Sorry you guys for this delay. Uh, last week I was supposed to make a video, but I didn't because I had a whole lot of shit to do. I'm sorry about that. And I didn't want to put it up the next day because I felt kind of bad if I do that. Uh, today is kind of messed up too because I can't find my uh, 3DS, like the kickstand that I got with uh, Kid Icarus. So it's kind of messed up. But for this week we got Pokemon. It looks like. Yep, we got it. So the Pokedex 3D Pro is out. So you can hop on that, download, and check out all your favorite Pokemon. I'm sorry that the bottom screen, it looks kind of dark. It's because it's on an angle. Like, the tripod is set up properly. The only problem is the 3DS is not set up properly. And you can see I had to lift it a little bit on a Genesis case. Uh, Sonic 3. Um, so we got the Pokedex 3D. We got some editor choice here from... Mm, I don't know which editor's choice. Probably a Nintendo magazine or something. The Nintendo Direct should have that new Wii U thing that was going down. If anyone missed that, you know... Yeah, wait, heard it? No, this is the mini, I think. Yeah. But there was a big giant announcement showing, like, the Wii U and all that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a Wii U unboxing, of course, on my channel, because I'm going to have it first day. I'll probably be up around 1-ish, maybe, because I have work the same day, so I can't even play the system right away. Uh, we got another Nintendo Show 3D, so that's good. Uh, let's see, new arrivals, see what exactly we got. We got the Pokedex 3D Pro. We have, what? Dress to play cute witches. Okay, we have that game, which is a 3D download. Let's actually see what the hell it's about. It sounds like a fashion game just from the title, you know? And, yeah, it is, sort of, I think. It looks like you dress up your little witch in clothing, black clothing, and then play a mini game. it looks like. Mm -mm -mm. Two games in one, create and dress up a little witch at your taste. Enjoy playing adventures with your character. 50 challenge, oh. Okay, it actually has 50 levels, so that's cool. I don't know if I would buy it, though. Probably wouldn't. Actually, it's only $3.99. I could probably do that. <laughs> Just play it for the hell of it, you know. Something stupid to do. What? He's back again? Johnny Hotshot. I wanted to get his last game, but I didn't know if it was good, so I didn't download it. It must be since they have another one. Or they're just trying to make him a... Uh, franchise or something oh I see it so it's a shooting game where basically you have three uh, well cardboard cut out whatever shooting things right they'll pop up on the screen and what you do on the bottom screen is you select so bad guy you select good girl don't select bad guy select you know okay and what is that looks like the same thing just from a different angle uh, it has like 50 levels, right? Some crap like that. Nope, it doesn't even say how much levels. Hmm. UFO is trying to hit the... Sorry, is it UFO something or is it just UFO the developer? UFO Interactive. You know, they're trying to hit the 3DS bad, man. They like come out with games all the time. Smart Girls Playhouse Mini. That's something new. Um, I'm also going to show some of the games that came out last time in the description. So anything that I missed from last week will all show up in the description. So basically you can go down there, see what's new this week, and scroll a little bit more, and you'll see what's new from last week. I'll have a, the title over it so you guys can differentiate or whatever that word is. Crap. And it looks like a friggin' Eden dressing game. Another one from the UFO guys. 
Really, they're they're really trying to hit us hard. Hmm. Come down, dragons. DSI where it looks like it's probably a tower defense. I like tower defense, but I like it better when you get to actually place the defense. Oh crap, it's sideways. I didn't really want to move the 3DS, but here, let's move this like that so you guys can see it better. So yeah, it looks like a tower defense game. Uh, upgrade archers. It looks like it has nukes in it, fire spells, fire arrows, and ice arrows. It looks like. And this this is just from first impression, so you could probably read a review of someone or something like that. So I just have to angle that back in there. All right, so um. There's that tower defense game. Freaky Forms Deluxe came out last week. It's a retail game, which uh, was a remix of the old one. So anyone who has the old game cannot download this game. Well, sorry. They can download this game. I mean, like, anyone who wants the old game can't download it no more because it's off the eShop. Uh, we got Too Fast for Gnomes with a Z. Yeah, so... um. This is a platformer game where basically you run through the level and you just keep on going on. So it's mostly about memorization because you go through the levels and it's like you hit something and you'll have to go back and do it again. It's not like you can do too many different things. Like you can hover up in the air and shit with like his underwear so you can see it there. And you can do like, uh, you know, or you can do jumps. So. You have a couple ways to decide how you're going to get over, like, cliffs and stuff, but I don't think you have too much decision of, like, what you have to do. You just have to do it. So, last week we got uh, Cake Ninja 2, the remake of uh, Cake Ninja. So, it's still on DSiWare, which kind of sucks. So, I'm definitely not getting it. Plus, it's $4.99 for something I just have to slash my stylus. So, really... Stuff that just are supposed to buy my time, I think there should be like one ninety nine, honestly. Like it's just gonna buy my time for like what five minutes, and I'm gonna like go eh, play a different game or something. And another retail game we got last week was Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask, right? Yeah, Miracle Mask. <laughs> that would have been fucked if I got the name wrong. So you can download it from the eShop if you want it first day, or you can wait longer and see if you get a discount from somewhere else, but I don't know, since it's a Nintendo title, you might not be getting a discount, so I say buy it digitally, plus you'll have it on the go wherever you go, you know? Yeah, so that's really it, what we got for this week. I don't think we got any virtual console. Uh, last week, did we get a virtual console? I uh, don't remember... No. Oh, they're going to put Zelda 2, which was given out to the ambassadors on here. It's to be continued price. So probably $4.99. $5.99 at the max if they want to be assholes, because I really don't like that game. I'd rather play the first one any time before the second. So let's just check if there's any updates, and we'll be done this. What's new on the eShop? Remember, I have a Facebook page, too, and all that other shit, you know, subscribe and comment. You know, tell me what I can do better, tell me what I can do worse, or tell me to go fuck off so I can tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> Alright, later you guys, this is nine minutes, it's long enough.